Let's talk about one chain. What's up guys, Stefan here. Welcome to Allcoin Picks. Before I get started, I just want to thank everyone for supporting our channel. And if you like our videos, just hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're just one click away. We have been getting a lot of questions about when to buy into one chain. So I'm going to share my strategy and I hope that will help you too. Let's get started. So I just want to make sure that everyone watching the content of this video was intended to help anyone that already has some understanding of the cryptocurrency market and that I can't stress enough how important it is to do your own research and that the content shared in our channel is to educate and for those that enjoy the crypto space and want to understand how others approach a new coin that get listed in the market. So let's begin. So one chain token sale happened last year on October and they were able to raise $36 million and each token was valued at 34 cents when at Ethereum was worth around $300, actually precisely $294. And it's been a few months already and the market actually went up and then it went down and one chain listed just last week. And it, it when it hit the market, it actually hit the market at 15 times ICO. And it actually has dipped a little bit. And what I would advise everyone is, even though the price has lowered already, to not FOMO. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit of some of the little statistics that I already got from one chain. So one chain during an ICO, you were able to buy 880 coins per Ethereum. And now, even though Ethereum price has increased, you can only purchase 134 coins with the same Ethereum. The entire volume comes from Binance and coin market cap hasn't actually updated one chain circulating supply. They already have a working product and three ICOs that are already confirmed to be launched on their platform. They have a very active community and they have the best partnerships you can ask for any cryptocurrency in this business. If you actually compare it to Icon, it actually was listed at five times price of ICO and right before the bull market to its peak it was actually trading for almost a hundred times ICO value and one chain that has a much smaller supply and it didn't even have actually was listed only hit 15 times ICO something else you actually also need to consider was that one chain was being sold over the counter in between $2.50 and as high as $4.50 before it being listed on Binance. And if you actually try to actually do any purchase on Binance, you can't even apply any Fibonacci to it. So my first suggestion now for, for an entry point is for you to do some dollar cost average in order for you to take a much larger position. So now we're actually on Binance. And if you take a look at the first day it was listed, some someone actually probably had some fat fingers and pressed a market order, or he actually just wanted to grab one chain, didn't care for the price. And it was someone purchased it for 80,000 sats. But that doesn't give you a lot of information because it's actually the price is actually moving quite steadily sideways. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna do the following. I I already allocated some funds to invest on one chain, and with that fund, with that specific fund, I already invested 10% of that position at 45,000 sats. I will keep incrementally purchasing an extra 10% for every 5,000 sats it drops. So whenever it hits a 40k sats, I will purchase another 10 10%. And if it actually hits 35,000 sats, I'll purchase 20%. If it actually goes below 20,000 sats, which I, which I doubt, I will purchase 30%. If the volume remains steady for the next two, three weeks, I'll expect that one chain will be in between $2 and $3 since we're not in a bull market anymore. And then if the price of Bitcoin remains in the channel, 
I think the prices of one chain will also hold. If the prices of Bitcoin breaks down, I will wait for the reversal so that I can place a longer term position trade on one chain. Assuming that the coin doesn't dip, I'll actually take a different approach. I will wait for the price of one chain volume to increase. Right now, it's actually sitting at number 28 on Binance. So if it starts hitting back to around the top 20, I will just purchase 10%. If it actually raises much higher to, let's say, for example, top 10, I'll place another position, maybe 20%. And then if it's really being really heavily traded, I will just join in on the trade, place a position, and then sell off incrementally and w w hope for the dip. And I will have 30% remaining for my entire position so I can purchase maybe a possible last dip or maybe place trades throughout the cycles if I actually purchase it too high or too or something happens with the market and I will have at least some extra funds so I can apply it to one chain. So uh, that's it for you guys, for, for us guys. I hope that helps. That's actually a pretty simple strategy. I'll just be incrementally purchasing if it goes lower. If it keeps actually increasing in price, I will I'll place positions as it goes up, but I, I will sell them off if I see any signs of, of it showing weak signs. And then that way, I at least can, can go at the same flow of the chart and not just be holding dead coins for a long time. I hope this helps everybody and I'll see you guys next time.